Hey Disney family, today I am taking you on a room tour of a two bedroom villa located at Boulder Ridge at Wilderness Lodge. It has recently been remodeled. It also sleeps eight people. So I cannot wait to give you all the details about this room and help you figure out if this will fit your family's needs. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and have you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We are headed to Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, part of the Disney Vacation Club Resort Collection, nestled in the Magic Kingdom area of the resort. Boulder Ridge Villas was originally known as the Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge when it opened in November of 2000, and it offered Disney Vacation Club members a variety of spacious villas with kitchenettes and full kitchens, providing a home away from home experience. On this trip, we are staying in a two bedroom villa, which sleeps eight people. It has two rooms, two full bathrooms and a full kitchen. And we will go over all of the aspects. So this is in the building that's connected to Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek. So the main lobby is going to be where the Copper Creek rooms are located. You'll take a little walkway over to the Boulder Ridge area. And you can see it has a beautiful atrium as well, but there is no front desk because this is just rooms on this side as you can see I have a child running straight for the elevator because you know whoever wins the button wins and even though you tell them not to run they still are so excited to get into this room this is the first time we stayed in this room since the recent remodel the inspiration for this resort is based on the Pacific Northwest. It features a lot of stunning architecture reminiscent of Grand Lodges found in the national parks you can already tell by this red door that this room is going to be a rustic modern feel and it delivers throughout the entire room. When you walk in, you will always have your closet in the front. We store our stroller here, our shoes. We hang up our umbrellas, our pin lanyards. This is your entry way for kind of the dumb spot for all of your items. Then you head into the living room and you will see again those colors, the yellow, the green, the white cabinets on top. I really love the feeling of this room. Now, most living rooms are going to have a Murphy bed. Because of the roof line, we do not have a Murphy bed in this room. We have a pull out sofa, which is fine for the kids. They don't mind, but just know most of the rooms are going to have Murphy beds. If that is really important to you, make sure to ask the front desk. Here is the little seating area. It really only seats six. I know this room is for eight people, but it is a pretty small banquette. We felt, we felt like three people comfortably could sit on that. The sleeper sofa was very comfortable. The two boys slept on it and they loved it. Just like all DVC villas that come with a full kitchen and even those that don't have a full kitchen but a kitchenette, you are going to have supplies. So you will have mugs, plates, cups, bowls, pans, pots, coffee, um, you have everything that you need to make yourself feel at home. A lot of times people will stay in their DVC villa for about a week. So it is nice to have somewhere that you can cook. You can see in this room, you have the new Keurig that has the single serving, but also a coffee pot. So that is so nice because starting your morning with Joffrey's, there really isn't any better way, especially when you are waking up at a Disney resort. You can see here at the bottom, this is where you're going to find your pots and pans. And then under the sink, you typically will find a trash can recycling bin. And I think in this resort, they had the hand washing soap and the detergent for the dishwasher on top of the kitchen. This refrigerator, it's not a full size, but it is large enough to hold anything that you're going to need for your Disney vacation. Of course, we have two additional ball stools for seating, which gets us to that eight. If you exit the living room, the first thing you're gonna see is the washer dryer. This is in all one bedroom or larger units in Disney Vacation Club Villas. This is an old style type of bathroom. We call it the rooms of many doors. Saratoga Springs is very similar to this setup where you have the water closet on one side, you have a shower and a sink. There's a door to enter this room, then there's a door to exit it, which leads you to another sink, a tub, and the closet. This is how DVC villas used to be set up. The newer built ones are not set up this way. They're a little bit more seamless. I understand why they 
did the setup this way because it gives you multiple privacy areas but there's just so many doors hitting each other when you have four small children then if you walk to the side you will see another walk-in closet this is where your iron and your ironing board is going to be located you can see the extra pillows and blankets on top there and also a safe is going to be in that room the tub is deep in this room which i absolutely love and the artwork is so adorable so once you leave the bathroom you will enter into the primary room all of these new beds are going to be the taller beds. You can fit your luggage under there. Sometimes the big luggage we just leave open, slide it under and pull it out. It's also going to be really important to get bed rails on these beds if you have little or young children because the fall is pretty far because of the heightened bed to store that luggage under. In the other room, you're gonna find two queen beds. This room is actually larger to accommodate the two queen beds. And look what I discovered, USB-C. We are moving into the new millennia. And we love the new addition of these headlamps um, next to the bed for reading lights. So those are little touches that you're gonna find in these newly remodeled rooms. Then you have additional desk area with two benches plugs and USB outlets there as well. And then you have plenty of drawer space to store all your items for this trip. Again, you have the taller bed, so make sure that you get those bed rails if you have younger kids staying in the room. Then you head into the bathroom that is attached to this room. So this is not the one that people will use in the common area. This is a really big space. I do feel like they kind of wasted the opportunity of having two sinks in here because that counter is enormous it's also really nice that they have a door for the toilet and the shower so people can be getting ready while people are in the shower so i really like that feature it has h2o products in there as you know disney has recently purchased the formula so you will still see that at the resorts huge walk-in closet in here also a luggage rack which is really nice to have if you don't want to fully unpack so this is just a really nice space to have if you have friends or family. Our friends stayed in there and had plenty of room. And then we're heading to the last spot, which is going to be the balcony. All Disney balconies are equipped with two locks. So it's a safety feature. So you don't have to worry about your young children getting out. Just always keep the latches locked and they will not be able to. So there's the lower one and then there's one up above. You have to unlock both to be able to get outside. I'm not sure if a two bedroom that was not on a corner would have the balcony go all the way across because that's typically what we've experienced. But because we're on the corner, this uh, balcony only covered this room and the living room, but it was such a beautiful day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and we will see you real soon.